Little Princess, I Want to Go to the Seaside. Written by Rachel Morell, read by Colin McFarlane. It was very early in the morning at the castle. Even the cockerel was still asleep. But Little Princess was already awake. Wakey, wakey! Mummy and Daddy! cried Little Princess, clutching Desmond, her inflatable crocodile. It's time to go to the seaside! Time to get up, everybody! hollered Little Princess as she marched through the castle. Prime Minister quickly came out of his room, holding a kite. And then came the general with his bucket and spade, followed by the maid, wearing a big floppy sun hat. Everyone in the castle was just as excited as Little Princess. The royal household clambered into the car. It was a very tight squeeze once everyone was in. Let's go, let's go, cried Little Princess. Seat belts on, everyone, said the king, and off they drove. <laughs> Yippee, everyone cheered. We're going to the seaside. They were all singing happily as the car trundled along. Uh, isn't that the castle again? asked Little Princess as they passed by for the third time. Oh, it can't be, said the king sheepishly, as he quietly reached for the map. I can see the sea, exclaimed Little Princess an hour or two later. With a beep of the horn, they'd finally arrived at the seaside. Me first on the donkeys, said Little Princess with a grin, and hurried out of the car holding Desmond tightly. There are one, two, three donkey stands, said Little Princess. But where are the donkeys? I don't know, Poppet. Perhaps they're all on holiday, <laughs> said the king. There's no ice cream stand either, grumbled the queen. And no puppet show, moaned the maid. It must be the wrong time of year, said the king sadly. Just when Little Princess thought that things couldn't get any worse, it started to rain. Oh, everyone back to the car, said the king. The seaside is no fun without donkeys and ice cream and sand castles and puppet shows, whimpered Little Princess. Right, uh, let's go home, said the king as he tried to start the car. But with a cough and a splutter, the car refused to budge. Oh dear, groaned the king. The king lifted the car bonnet and began to fix the engine. Meanwhile, everyone was getting very bored and cross in the car. Their day at the seaside had turned into a terrible disappointment. Suddenly, Little Princess spotted Desmond the Crocodile all alone on the beach. He was being carried along by the wind. Oh no! cried Little Princess, scrambling out of the car. We can't leave without him! Little Princess ran to find Desmond nestled in a rock pool. Look, Desmond, you found a crab, said Little Princess, pointing. And fishies! <gasps> They're having lots of fun at the seaside, making up their own games. Little Princess looked up at the sky and saw that the sun had finally come out. I've got an idea, she smiled suddenly and ran back to the car. Everyone still looked very grumpy, so Little Princess held Desmond up to the window and roared like a crocodile. 
There might not be donkeys, <coughs> or ice creams, or puppet shows, <coughs> growled Little Princess, pretending to be Desmond. But there's still plenty to do at the seaside. Come on! Everyone followed Little Princess and Desmond uncertainly back to the beach. Sandcastle building competition, ordered Little Princess, and divided everyone into pairs. Time's up! Put down your spades! yelled Little Princess ten minutes later. And what have you two made? demanded Little Princess, pointing at the Admiral and Prime Minister. Lovely! It looks just like our castle, she said admiringly. And now you, Mummy and Daddy, said Little Princess. A cake? Yummy! <laughs> she chuckled. A mermaid! exclaimed Little Princess as she marched over to the final pair. First prize goes to... The Maid and General! Next, let's play towers, she cried as everyone clapped merrily. In high spirits, the royal household was soon arranged into a pyramid with Little Princess at the very top. I'm the king of the castle, sang the little princess as the pyramid wobbled beneath her. <gasps> Suddenly, the general sneezed, Achoo! sending everyone tumbling down onto the sand. <laughs> I must have a rest, laughed the queen as everyone dusted the sand off themselves. There's no time for a rest at the seaside, said Little Princess. We're going paddling now. They all stood holding hands at the water's edge. All together, run, cried Little Princess. And they ran together into the water. Time for a picnic, Babs, called the chef as he lifted his hat with a flourish to reveal a pile of freshly made sandwiches. <coughs> Hurrah! cried Little Princess. We're starving! What a yummy picnic! It's perfect for the seaside, said Little Princess, as they tucked into a feast of sandwiches, cakes and jelly. The seaside can be lots of fun if you know how, said Little Princess thoughtfully. But it would have been a teeny bit better if the donkeys were here. After the picnic, Little Princess collected Desmond ready to go home, when suddenly, Princess, we've got a surprise! It's time for the donkeys, called the Queen. Giddy up, donkey, shouted Little Princess with delight. We can win this race. All the donkeys were running as fast as they could towards Admiral, who was stood at the finish line, when suddenly Maid's donkey tripped and fell. <laughs> Followed swiftly by the Queen's, leaving Little Princess and her daddy donkey to cross the finish line first. <laughs> Everyone lay on the sand laughing. I love playing pretend donkeys, laughed Little Princess, spitting out sand. <laughs> Just as the sun was going down, the royal household got back in the car and started their journey home. Everyone felt very tired after such a busy day. Ah, what a lovely day at the seaside, 
said Little Princess, sleepily. And with a yawn, <sighs> she was fast asleep. The car arrived back at the castle very late, and everyone went straight to bed. The very next morning, the royal household was still fast asleep. Everyone, that is, except for Little Princess. Wakey, wakey, everyone, she yelled. Let's go to the seaside. Again! <laughs> <laughs>